Hi, I'm back for an impromptu uh, <laughs> crafting. Wow, two people already waiting for me to come on and know that I'm going to come on. So welcome, welcome to my channel. I've no idea what I'm going to make. I've just been inspired by the fact that my sister's been on and I thought, I want to have a go. I, I want to do some crafting. Husband's out at um, the cinema tonight. Kids are in bed. I was just doing some editing of photographs on the computer, getting some, I've got some YouTube video scheduled to come on with this stamp set and this stamp set and this all sorts of stamp sets so here I am so welcome it's great to have your company <coughs> I am mindful excuse me that my picture isn't always as clear as I'd like it to be but there's now to out I can do about that <laughs> to what accent that's supposed to be so in front of me I've got little ladybug stamp set which you can earn as a free stamp set with a £150 order or if you get a group of you together and order through me a £150 order you can get this stamp set. Hi there Dolly, welcome for the first time. Um, thoughtful Blooms can be yours with a £45 spend. There is a matching punch that you can get with a £90, £90 spend. This is a new stamp set that's in the mini catalogue. Uh, I think it, for both these things, this is a good buy, twenty eight seventy five. I think it is. So what on earth am I going to do? Who knows? I've um, Somebody said about the ladybugs and I thought about that. And then I thought about, I've not touched this set. And I am actually doing a, a whole day workshop using this bundle. So it might be an opportunity for me to actually have a play. Ladybug is a $300 spend in the US. Thank you. So welcome along. I am Artful Stampin' Sister. That would be Ruth. Um, so I've got my other device and I'm hoping I can keep up with all what you are saying. <laughs> Matches the weather. I think we should get something with this. I'm kind of tempted maybe to introduce the um, florals. I've got my... Um, <clears throat> pigment crystals out i've got you know we'll see we'll see where this takes us this could get messy and i've got a piece of cardboard under me i might just move that out of the way just so that i've got some um space i need the space right so this is as fresh as can be this stamp set good evening Anne marie nice to your company okay i've got no idea what i'm gonna do i'm thinking Umbrellas, I'm thinking flowers. I've got a few blocks in front of me. I could maybe do with some more, but let's... Now, this is interesting to see what size blocks we need oh. for this. Okay, that just about fits on a C block. I think I'm going to need the, the rain stick. Now, because these are silicone, they're bendy, so if you lie them flat... And put your block on top that's probably the easiest way of doing that might add in a few raindrops afterwards um the welly boots are fun but i don't think i want to use them just yet i might group these bunches of flowers together so that we've got coverage like so i might introduce some stamps with that in a minute but let's just not get too ahead of ourselves and i think let's just stamp shall we hi cheryl okay let's get you in position so hopefully you can see what's going on now when you are using stamps for the first time it's advisable to what's called condition your stamps so this is me stamping it for the first time and okay, it's an okay impression, but then if I carry on inking it and just give it a few more stamps, you will find that you'll get yourself a better impression. I'm just going to show you that. So with this first impression, it just left a bit out the top there, and then this one's better. So it's called conditioning. So just either you can do this with Versamark with clear ink, or you can just give your stamp. Um, a few goes to get it going all right so that's your tip for the day it's called conditioning so i'm afraid i didn't do this beforehand because i've just come on now the other tip 
that you might need to think about is when you have stamps like this, which have got, so it's got tiny raindrops and then you've got these big spaces in between. Now, when I go to ink this, it picks up the colour of the ink. And if I go and stamp this quite hard, you'll see that that um, stamps onto the, the paper. So when you go in with stamps like that, you want to give it a lighter um, press, okay? Don't go be too heavy handed. Thank you. Anne Marie says A, B, and C blocks are recommended. I think I'm going even larger with this one. Hi, Ruth. There's my sister. Right, so now that we've got the hard bit out of the way, let's get stamping. Actually, I was going to think about doing the umbrella this way around. Got no plans with what I'm doing. I'm just going to stamp. Sometimes it's nice not to have too many plans. Sometimes it's nice just to... Don't be intimidated by the paper, okay? And if you are recreating a design, that is what you're doing. You're just um, repeating a pattern. Oh, I'm just trying to zoom you out a little bit. It does look like back wings. Talking about back wings, I have actually created a back using the punch. So again, just use those stamps and don't be too rigid <laughs> with it. Don't just think about the fact that they are umbrellas. There could be other things. Oh, I like it already. So this is the walking stick or the umbrella stick. Goes in the stamp set. I can hear the raindrops on my window. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth, for introducing Esther and her channel. Welcome, Janice. Lovely to have you. So it's nice to collaborate with my sister because it means that we can share our viewers and subscribers. We're both stampers, we're both demonstrators, but I like to think that we have our own style and what we do is different from each other. So um, I like to think that um, if you're watching one, you're not watching the other. <laughs> Does that make sense? Very rainy weekend here in Australia. Also so perfect set to work with. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a few spaces. So I'm using Shimmer White because after Ruth's video just now, I thought, oh, I might add some... Hmm, I didn't stamp that very well. I haven't got my mats underneath, which probably isn't helping me. I'm a bit of a daring stamp, but yeah, there's something blocking my stamping. I can feel it. Is it something under my papers? Oh, where are you? Look at that. How very dare you. Now, you see, if I'd got prepared and put this underneath, I wouldn't have had that trouble. There we go. We buy different... Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Ruth. We buy different stamp sets as well. That's the other thing. So... Ruth loves her florals, but she has got other stamp sets. Um, she's great at doing things like this, One Sheet Wonders. Um, you know, we have a... I like to experiment with stamps to stretch them, to find out what else they can do. So somebody just said back wings then. You know, things like that, just something a bit different. I like to, I like to be alternative with colours and things like that as well. Um... It's very Princess and the Pea. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a big space in there, but I'm going to leave it because it means I can put some raindrops in. This is where you want to burst into song, but I won't. So sometimes with One Sheet Wonders, it's quite nice to give yourself a, um, a rule of stamping. Um... Sometimes you could be a bit freer. So although, like I've set the umbrellas into place, the rest of it is just kind of a matter of filling gaps. Okay, 
Okay. So I don't feel the need to bring in. Let's just have a quick check. Um, do I feel the need to bring in anything else? I think at the moment I like it as is, as they say. I'll just double check if there's anything. I've lost the box to my stamp set. No, I don't think there's anything I want to add, so I'm going to leave it as it is. I love how supportive you both are too. Oh, that's really sweet, Randy. We do actually get on in real life. It's not just screen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to have a sip of tea. Right, I'm thinking sprinkles. Now, if you haven't met the sprinkles before, this is where you might need to clear some space because this is rather messy. Raindrop, oh, another one, Raindrops on Roses. That's another song we could be singing. Hmm, Ruth is debating whether we get on. <laughs> My rabbits are saying we may gouge mum. I'm just not going to have to wait till after I see Esther. Oh, we do have, we get a bit silly when we get together. That is the trouble. I'm thinking this is shouting at me. This is shouting at me. Uh, maybe this. This is rather exciting. I'm not using these in a while. Okay, what is, I just went ahead and, and put my... Now, I am going to bring in my brushes as well. Clean my cage. Now, you're going to have to wait, I'm afraid, because Esther's on. Oh, I've got some gunk in there. Ew, what is that? <laughs> Nobody look at my gunk in my <laughs> aqua brush. So obviously we're thinking maybe some... I'm going to spray one half of the sheet. Oh dear, look, it's already happening. Wait a minute, I'm not ready yet. Did I use the right ink? Was I supposed to use Memento or was I supposed to use the other one? Okay, this is the blue, isn't it? Okay, so I've laid down some water and I'm going to go in again with some more. I want it quite watery. I'm going to go a bit wild with my water. Hmm, not sure about this. <laughs> I say that in my videos. Hmm, not sure about this. And then something just happens. Right, where's my... Oh no, I didn't bring any in with me. I've got some tissues. Hi Christine. Oh I've got like one tissue left in my okay. Well, I'm not giving up just yet. Let's get some of this in it. Did you use stays on? No, I use memento. I can't remember which one I was supposed to use. I think I forget how unpredictable these are. I don't expect them to be predictable. I'm gonna do the dab me in. Oh, was I supposed to use stays on? Oop. <laughs> um, um, right. Okay, on this other side, I'm going to try a different technique.
Memento is good for stamping alcohol ink. Colouring stays on this album base. are good for water techniques. Thank you. I do get them muddled up. It's just colour umbrella. It's not going to work, is it? I feel like the paper's upside down. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, it's gone all green. Don't want it all green, do we? I feel like it needs to be this way around. Do you ever do that with food on your plate when you feel like food on your plate is the wrong way around? Is that just me? Right, am I missing comments? Looks great, keep going. Oh good. I'm not so sure myself, but we'll just we'll just keep going anyway. Um, I think what I might need to do is leave this to dry. I love how you sing just when you stand. <laughs> I think it's like a nervous singing. It's like, I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to sing. And I'm, the other thing is, I'm trying not to sing actual songs. I think that's the, that's the other thing. Um, is that, that's a bit greeny for me. I want it to be a bit more bluey. <laughs> okay, I'm tempted just to leave this and move on because it's not quite how I wanted it to turn out, believe it or not. But what do we say here? You've got to trust the process. I'm thinking purple, but I'm going to move that aside. That's okay. We let's look at my lovely stamped workspace. Okay. You just got, I'm going to let it dry and get out another sheet. I'm going to try and maybe lay down some colour first and stamp afterwards. See how it likes it. <laughs> so Anne Marie wanted purple. Why am I running out of water already? Wow, I used loads of water. Look how much that spread. I didn't even do it over there. But it's spread in that direction. Okay, running that water. Do you use watercolour paper or thick whisper white? This is the shimmer paper. So it's... I've got to be careful not to get... I don't know if you can pick up... No, come here. You can't actually see it on screen. It's a bit too dark. But it's... um actually got a glimmer colour to it. Yes, emboss resist would look nice also, that's a good point. I'm just going to whack on the heat tool. I think it's going to get dried quickly around here unless I heat it. So that was just one colour of the brush -ons. Sometimes less is more. Not always. I have four precious and coveted sheets left. I'm trying your techniques for sure. <laughs> These are sprinkles, pigment sprinkles. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. A big blob about to fall off there. Let's fix what I might do is just leave that prepped and then come back another time to show you what else we can do with those. I think sometimes um, it's the process of it. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I think sometimes a big sheet can be... Um, 
a lot of space to cover at once. I'm going to chop this down quickly. And look, you can even use this. Oop, don't put it on there. If this is dried out, this could make a really cool, look at that. So don't chuck away this either. <laughs> if that's dried out, that could be used for something. Look how pretty that is. It's going to let that dry. I'm hoping my fingers aren't too inky. Do, do, do. Have a go. With something else. I might leave my sprinkles out, but just do it on a smaller scale. And then I might think about the ladybirds and something else. Now, are you saying I should be using memento? Stays on rather. Oh, don't worry, I haven't missed much. I'm just mucking about with sprinkles. <laughs> okay, I love the idea of. Oh, that's my dry one. That's not. No, oh, where is it? That's like so last year. That's my really old stays on that doesn't even ink. <laughs> this is my new one. Okay, I'll look, have a little sniff. Oh man, that smells amazing. I know you shouldn't really sniff ink, but look how new that is. Can you see that? It gave me a big blob then. Don't press too hard, Esther. Okay, let me just bring in a doofa. Now I think with this you've got to clean it straight away, haven't you? Because it um, stains, and I haven't got any stays on clean. There we go, that'll do. Especially on your blocks, be careful. Yeah, I don't have the cleaner. Oh, the smell is delicious. <laughs> So stays on is a lot darker as well, you know, it gives you a nice pigment. And I want to stamp the flowers into the brawly. Look, they fit around the... How cool is that? Actually sort of fit into the umbrella. And then the other song we want to sing is the Umbrella song, but we, we're not going to, are we, folks? <laughs> oh, dear. Adorable. I've not even done anything. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So let's try that again, but let's just cover this up. Make sure we don't get in too messy. I was finding it too dark, so let's put a bit on there. And I'm going to, which what we can do, is, I know what I'm going to do, we're going to do a wash, so we're going to go darker, but we can also go lighter. Now the great thing about this also is, Actually, let's add a bit of granny. A little bit of granny there. And look, here's where the magic happens. You look, look, hardly anything there. And then add some water. We've got granny. Apple green. And I'm going to brush that into the blue. You can mix these. Okay. 
There we go. Isn't that cool that you can mix it? I love that fact. Love it. Hi, I'm so a little late watching now. No worries, Linda. I'm having a play. Having a play. This is Whisper Little White. Now, at this stage, I might just. Hmm. I don't know. I'm tempted to just drop a few of these on. Whatever's left on my block. Just because I can. Okay, I don't like that bit. <laughs> It's okay to experiment. It's okay to not like something. It's okay if it goes wrong, okay? Don't panic. Right, it's going to still be a little bit damp, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. I haven't got any tissue paper in here. And I want a few... Make sure my raindrops are the right way around. This is Shimmer White cardstock, the um, Stampin' Up Cell. So it's a cross between watercolour paper and um normal card I would say okay so I'm gonna bring back my paint brush aqua brush aqua painter whatever you want to call it and use that intense colour to colour in more, more, a bit of a shadow with the umbrella. Now I hope you guys are catching this because on my other device it keeps them um, spiralling round and round. So this is Man Mambo, which I'm just tapping it onto a block which you can't see. Too much water on my aqua pen. There we go. Spirals here, okay, but not too much, but not much. All good. Oh, thank you for the confirmation about what's going on my screen. <coughs> now, the other thing I want to do is to kind of highlight those. Bit too much highlight the raindrops a little bit. Now this does dry a bit flatter, so don't panic too much. And darker. I mean, when I say flatter, I mean you're going to have little droplets, but obviously it's not going to. The other thing I like to do with these is actually whack it on like that, put a bit of sprinkling on it. Give this sort of card; it might lend itself. Okay, we're going to go purple, brawly. Look at that gorgeous deep purple colour.
blending it in with that water. So I'm breaking up those lines so I'm not left with lots of strange lines on there. I love the fact that these colours can blend together. Okay, gone a bit darker, I'm just going to use this. Splodge it. <laughs> Splodge. Maybe a little bit of purple on the flowers it looks like it's reflecting from the umbrella there that is so zingy and bright so what I would do now is to like maybe do some and like what I would do afterwards maybe do like an embossed sentiment where I'm gonna leave that to dry as well who has somebody kindly super chatted me and have I missed it because suddenly I could see some money on my screen and I don't know where it's come from did somebody super chat That's... there you go Oh, Linda, it's just come through. I'm so sorry. My screen is like totally delayed. I guess, oh no, I've seen that. My, the, um, I'm really sorry. My, um, let me refresh my other device because it's just not showing up <laughs> after all of that. So thank you. Right. So look at that. I'm just going to bring that in. That is pretty cool. That's um, using the sprinkles. I wasn't sure about this one. <laughs> you know what I'm like. In fact, I might bring this page back and see what we can do with it. Because I've still got lots of colour on here. Tap to retry. Come on. Honestly, technology, who would have it, eh? <laughs> see, it's not working. Well, I'm, not, I'm really sorry. I'm not seeing comments on my other device which is not helpful at all when you're trying to um, chat and I'm going to come down here maybe add some colour to the body so this is still a bit damp from before I hope it doesn't want to show comments on there, so I'm just going to have to. This is totally not what I had intended for tonight. I was going to, I was going to do a ladybug um, on sheet wonder, <laughs> but this is it's quite nice to have a chance to play with this actually because I've, I've been meaning to and it's just not happened. So. Um, Now, be careful you don't go too brown on everything. You don't want to end up with mud. So I'm just giving a bit of shading to these brawlies. Oh, it's come back again. Honestly, it's having a funny five minutes, aren't you? Hmm? You're having a funny five minutes. I'm just going to do the flowers. Oh, you prefer this to the ladybug. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> I don't know why I had ideas for him. <laughs> it's nice, like I said, it's nice to have an opportunity to play with this, actually, because I've not um, had a chance to use the stamp set yet. I love colouring in with these um, sprinkles because you've got, um, I don't know, you've, you've got the opportunity to blend as if they're like watercolours and um, or you've got the strength, the full strength of the colour itself if you wanted it to. <laughs> Ruth says she can't wait to borrow this set off me, she's getting some ideas.
Now, I think this would look really cool by masking off the umbrellas. That's the other thing I wanted to try. So I might try something else. <laughs> Wendy says she loves the way we share. I think I get more of Ruth's stamps than she does of mine, actually. And, you know, like we said earlier, we've, we've both got our own style, so we do our own thing with it. I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, let's see what else we've got. Not overly close, no. I'm going to chop this down as well. So about four, well, in American standards, I suppose we're not, <laughs> in terms of hours, we're not far, but in UK standards, we sort of, you know, we're not, we don't consider that close. Four hours away, four hour drive away. I didn't cut through that paper, did I? I'm just going to tear it. Let's have a look what we got here. Okay. <clears throat> I do, I think I prefer this umbrella to the other one. I don't know why. Are oh, you in the UK, Jan? Cool. Where about to you? You've probably said already. Oh, yes, sir. Cool. I'm in the West. Yeah, exactly. Ellie's saying, it's great that we can all be together through YouTube Live. It's like we are close to each other. Well, no social media has its plus sides, doesn't it? Can be used for bad, but it can be used for good. I'm going to stick with my purple theme, I think, and see if I can... I just colour a section in. A section or two. <laughs> I think I might leave it like that and just add a sentiment. Well, quick wipe it, wipe it. Actually, <laughs> she says, I'm going to, sometimes it's not until you start crafting do you get creative. Does that make sense? So when you start working with things, then you're like, oh, it, it um, creates new ideas is what I'm trying to say. Can you hear my brain whirring then? I was just have I'm just thinking. <laughs> it's his sister brotherhood of stamping. I think I live about an hour away. I know, Ellie lives like an hour about an hour away from me. And um I met you once, Ellie, haven't I? But Ellie's coming to my day workshop, which is exciting. So um I get to see Ellie again. So this is from, sorry, Thoughtful Blooms. I'm in Wiltshire. So this is looking rather retro. Are you in Hampshire? Cool. I do like the dots in this stamp. I'm going to avoid the rain and go with the dots. So it's definitely not as bright as the uh, stays on, is it? But, um... A bit of dotage, yes. A bit of dotage, got to have a bit of dotage. Um, I'm liking this big one here. 
Excuse me, well, I oh, I nearly fall off my chair. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to charge my phone at the same time. And then I'm going to do something a bit rad, a bit radical. Hampshire and Wiltshire next to each other. Oh, are they? Can you tell I don't drive? <laughs> I don't know why, just fancied the leaves. I discovered my passion for embossing folders and totally went in a different direction. Take well done, Mary. Good on ya. Um, I don't think I want to do too much more to this. Just want to fill in some of those blanks. And in fact, I've got to chop this down, so I'm going to lose some of those leaves, actually, I've just remembered. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to stop there because I want to move on. Moving on. So just a little recap. We've done a whole sheet of sprinkles and one sheet one. I won't cut that yet, it's still a bit soggy. Then we um, sprinkled some more sheets. And I've just gone and done that. And then we've coloured in one of those. Uh, Janice says, I'm puzzled by the $5.99 against person watching. Can you explain what this is and how we can do it? So I have got Super Chat enabled. If you look along your um, comments, there should be a... Um, little dollar sign so which means that you if you press that you type in a comment and choose how much um, money you want to donate which will go into um, an account and that's called super chatting a way of being and it just supports me and what I do and it goes to, to me and my account the other way of doing that is you can actually send me PayPal uh, PayPal, PayPal me money directly um, Super Chat does take, YouTube do take a bigger percentage off if you do it that way. Um, PayPal do take a bit of percentage, but it's less. I'm going to have to drop out. I've got my two-year-old granddaughter arriving tomorrow and have to clear the decks. Wendy, lovely to see you. I can't stay too much longer. I'm out with a friend tomorrow and I do need to go to bed soon, but I'm not done playing. So I'm going to carry on playing. Lovely to see you and thank you for your company, Wendy. And um, I hope you get cleared for your... Granddaughter. Right, I really want to play with the ladybirds quickly. I'm making a right old mess here. So, I wonder if I can do this. Or, whether rather than getting out, in fact, I'm not going to do the ladybirds tonight because I'm just thinking rather than getting out another, another whole stamp set. Um, where did that come from? Hmm. Okay, let me just get my head screwed on a minute. Um, I had an idea. <laughs> okay, let's do a half sheet one sheet wonder because I think if I did a full one, I'm not going to have a lot of time. So if you want to stick around for yet another one, this is normal Whisper White cardstock from Stampin' Up. Um, and what are we going to do? I want to do some masking. Now, I had all my... There we are. I had all my, um, which we call them together. Now, okay, he's feeling a bit neglected, so I'm going to bring out the other umbrella. So he doesn't... Actually, I could use the welly boots as well. No, we'll do that another time. Um, I'm going to bring out the neglected umbrella as well, I think. And we're going to go, what am I doing? Let me just have a little think. <laughs> My brain is starting to frazzle. Okay, let's get some coloured inks out. Okay, right. 
We are going to do... I like them at an angle, I don't know why. Just do. I think if I put the sticks in straight away, I know... Um, pull yourself together. I know. Um, here come. That one. Hi, Bev. Good to see you. Not normally on this late, am I, folks? So, after I finish my video, you can actually subscribe to my channel. <laughs> And if you hit that bell button, it is supposed to notify you of when I, I do my lives or when I um, um, put a video up. I keep imagining the half-closed umbrella as a skirt on a lady. Now, I did try that idea, believe it or not. Um, but it wasn't quite working out how I wanted it to. So I um, gave up on the idea. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing too many umbrellas. I'm a bit broadly mad. Yeah, upside down skirt. I know what you mean. I don't actually have any... No, I don't have any of the lady stamps to um, try it out with. But yeah, I know what you mean. I had a few ideas for this stamp set. Some worked, some didn't. Thank you, I hadn't noticed the dollar sign. Well, it's a way for um, people who watch from other countries that can't get, that can't be my customers to be able to support my business as well. So it's a nice way to feel supported um, if, if you can't buy directly from me. Not everyone will have that dollar sign. So you need to have at least a thousand subscribers and at least 4,000 hours of watched um, videos. So it's, I've only just recently been able to, how am I gonna do this? Just recently been able to, um, oh, I've got too many layers in there. <laughs> that was really pushing it then. Um, just sorry i keep stopping and starting my sentence just recently been able to monetize is what i'm trying to say oh i'm pushing my stamps to the my punches to the limits then but it worked a bit of brutal brute force brutal force so what i wanted to do is have enough layers of masks so that i can mask off these without having to move them around Now, <laughs> typically, some of them are off the page. Wow, you've been working out. <laughs> it's all that punching. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, don't ruin your... I did years ago, it wasn't a stamp up punch, but years ago, I got a brand new stamp uh, punch, rather. I'm getting tired. I got a brand new punch and I think I actually ended up stepping on it because I wanted it to go through this card and I broke my punch and I hadn't even had a chance to use it. I was so gutted but I was like well, that's a stupid thing to do wasn't it? Don't go stepping on your punches just because it doesn't punch. If it doesn't punch it's too thick maybe you know perhaps the card that you're trying to punch is too thick. But no, Esther didn't pay any attention and she decided to do it anyway. She broke her punch, never to be used again. I think I've got like literally two things out of it. So learn from my lesson. Now, it's funny you should say that too, but... 
And I mean, it's not my original idea. I know somebody else has done it, but I've also created a flower using this. So you're getting all my inside secrets, everybody. So yeah, I made a flower, a bat, and a pinwheel. Like a, I like look at these umbrellas. They're so cool. Wouldn't you love to have an umbrella like this? Thank you for your company while I'm masking my umbrellas. So if you've not seen this technique before, it's a good one to have in the back. And it's a favourite. It's a favourite technique. I love masking because of the wow factor you get afterwards. If you're watching this on replay, I hope you've sped this bit up because uh, this is the boring bit. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> OK, let's get some colours out. Um, oh, come on, chair. Work with me. Okay. Let's get some, let's get some colour down on here. <clears throat> Let me move those out of the way. Let's get some granny apple green. So this is a different stamp set. This is the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. Just lay down some colour over those umbrellas. Cards would see you walking with a... Oh, cars. I th Normally, it auto-corrects to cars when you mean cards, but you did mean cars. <laughs> cars would see you coming with an umbrella like that, yeah. Oh, move out of the way, move out of the way. Ah, stuck. This one's determined to keep moving this. Everything's sticking. <laughs> things are sticking in the wrong place. The things that I want to stick aren't sticking in the right place. Uh, this reminds me of the Cunard building in Liverpool. They have umbrellas hanging from the ceiling. Now in um, Bath, near where I live, they had... Um, Umbrellas hanging from, from like the corridors. It was so cool. Let's grab out another colour. Should we use a bit of daffodil? Let's make it nice and bright and cheery. Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Now, you, one thing you, you've got to remember when you're masking is that you do want to have a layer of ink around your umbrella or whatever you're masked off because um, it won't show up otherwise. So remind me to do that. Don't let me just keep going without doing that, okay? <laughs> oh, let's go gorgeous group, shall we? Oh, what's going on with this stamp? A bit funny. Uh, 1964 film Catherine. Do, I can't pronounce that. So sorry. Do, do you know? Do you know? Mm, no, no. Forget that. <laughs> oh, that's better. It's having a funny five minutes, aren't you? Okay. I'm thinking we need a bit of Mella Mamba up in the house. Let's 
I'm just, oh no, I'm not missing comments, that's all right. <clears throat> now, because that is I'm going to quickly grab out a I'm not spending any time at all in just filling that colour in okay I'm not being precise, I just want to get some colour. Oh, that mask keeps moving onto that flower. Whenever anyone mentions Mano Mambo, I see Mambo number five in my hair. Now, I mustn't sing because of the royalty on YouTube. I don't want to be caught out. <laughs> I'm liking these colours together. Okay. Right, uh, what else we've got in here? Haven't used this little leaf yet, all this leaf. Mm. Now, I think if I go Bermuda Bay leaf. Very spring-like. Oh, good. What's Ellie saying? Got me dancing in my tea. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, remember, we need to get stenciling around the umbrella. So I want to use Coastal Cabana and I want to use Oh, thank you. I'm going to use my mask in a minute, so I'm going to get that out to help me remember. I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. I might just need scrap. This umbrella is determined to not play ball. I can't wait to see the great reveal. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> me too, or whatever they say. What's the correct... terminology maybe I should have I mean in hindsight maybe I should have coloured the I can colour the umbrellas in afterwards I suppose I don't know Ooh, that was close but right, I've learned in life <laughs> in all my years of living no recently I've learned this actually and I, I've said it before on my videos that actually when you're in a hurry it doesn't things it doesn't work you just slow down and take your time. I find, particularly with crafting, if I hurry, that's when things go wrong. So I just need to... Um, oh, we got a sneak peek then. This one is determined to come off early, aren't you? Maybe that one didn't have any sticky on it, I don't know. Yeah, just slow down. Don't craft if you're in a hurry. It just doesn't work. <laughs> Your craft won't appreciate it. Okay, let's add some dotage. Like a bit of dotage, spottage. No, I didn't put the mask. I should have put the mask on. Oh, never mind, Esther. Just do it. Just get on with it.
I'm sorry if I'm missing comments. I'm too busy talking to myself. <laughs> I love these masks because you can like avoid the areas that you don't want to colour in. Oh, that's not even on my paper. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, let's move up a bit. Oh, we get another sneak peek. Oh, you're off. You're off screen. Nearly there, folks. Nearly there. Okay. Are you ready? Use the force. And follow the process. Oh, thank you. I'm tired, Cindy. I'm ready for my bed. Okay. This is the best bit of my job ever. No, it's not really. But it's a good bit. Here it goes. I'm trying to get you, like, in position. Actually, I might be really cruel and just cover it up until I'm... <laughs> Untied naughty. Look at that. How fun. Love, love, love. And I'm tempted to colour in umbrellas, you know. Let me just not colour them in, but drum roll ready, they say. Maybe with, I'm just thinking. With a light, smoky slate. No, I like them white. I know you do. But just trust me on this one. Just want to try. Let's see what it's like with an outline. Be careful. <laughs> just some shading, nothing much. Okay, is that allowed? <laughs> Come on, we've got to try it with the big umbrella now. Sorry about the squeaking. You like the shading? Okay. Let's try the fat brush. Okay, that's a bit too fat. <laughs> but you've got to try because you never know. We're going to call you Ruth. <laughs> Let's do this fairly quickly because I need my bed. And I want to go to bed satisfied. I'm not going to rush it, <laughs> she says. Can you guys see? Haha, <laughs> phew, looks great. More 3D now. See, how would you know unless you try? It's just that finishing something, something, as they say. Just adds dimensions. I, I do, if, if you're going to buy any blends, buy the grey. If you outline anything with the grey, it just really helps it to pop. I feel like I need to turn this this way around now. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> that's so funny how I've got to stamp them at an angle and then I've turned them around and I feel like it's so much better now that it's turned around. Funny, isn't it? Funny old business. Haha, <laughs> squiggle works upside down. See? Mr. Squiggle working upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Funny. 
Right, so let's just bring back, that was a long session. I wasn't expecting it to be so long, but I think this is my favourite out the lot after all that. Should have started with this one, shouldn't I? So we've managed to do that. So that can be chopped down, that could be wrapped around a book, that could be chopped into bookmarks, wherever you want it to be. That could be turned into a card. That's quite retro and fun. This one we've used the blends all over, the um, sprinkles, which can be chopped down and done something with them. So my plan is, um, I've still got some One Sheet Wonders that, let me turn around and speak to you. Still got some, hi everyone, some One Sheet Wonders that I've not cut down yet and I do hope to come back onto YouTube to get that um, cut down into cards. So um, just incidentally, some of my longer videos, I have been getting some thumbs down. Now, okay, I've had thumbs down, it's not a first, but if you do give me a thumbs down, if you're one of those people, I would love to know why, and I'd love to know if it's because of the length of the video. So just, just out of curiosity, don't chop it too much, she says. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So I'm definitely having to chop this one down, I think. I'll do something with it. So I'm gonna let these dry properly overnight. I do like that one. I think that's probably my fave. And maybe we'll have to recreate that at our, um, work, our day workshop. You love the length of that one. Yeah, even if it's like cut that way into strips, it'd be quite nice. We'll see. Anyway, I am getting rather tired and I need to hit the hay for my busy day tomorrow. Oh, sorry, I love the length of the video. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Okay. That's great, great feedback. I don't mind being on. If I can spare the time, I'll come on. But for some reason, you know, I, I think that might be the reason I'm getting thumbs down. I don't know. It's just out of curiosity. Thank you all who have been able to join me. Thank you for sticking this through. Thank you, Jessica, for the encouragement. It's great to have your company. It's so nice to reunite, reunite, unite people from all around the world through stamping and crafting and getting to know loads of people through YouTube and through crafting. You love long videos. I think it makes a difference when you're live with somebody. That does make a difference as opposed to watching it afterwards. Maybe. Who knows? So I'm going to hop off now and get some sleep. Take care. Lovely to have your company. Thank you so much. Uh, so these umbrellas are beautiful. Nice job. Thanks for showing us. I came late but glad to catch part of life. Thank you, Judy. You are welcome, Linda. Thanks everybody so, so much. Rest well and hope to catch you again soon. So I've got some scheduled videos coming out over the next few weeks. I've been doing some videoing and editing. So watch out for those. Take care. I'm out of here. Bye. Night all.